So Preact split invoices solution. Um, why do people want to use this? It's basically where you don't want to then bill a single invoice with a single value up front. It's a way of you splitting out saying, okay, Mr. Client, you ask X amount of money, but we're only going to collect so much now or so much in a month's time, in two months time, three months time, and you can split those payments out. How many payments that is and the frequency of that, you, you set that yourself under the payment terms. Um, for today's purpose of the video, I've set this up to work off of an order. Um, this can be set to work off of opportunities, quotes and any custom entities where you need to split out a single payment into multiple payment lines, basically. Um, so I'll just show you, I'll click onto one of these orders and part of the solution, what we do is we get this look up here to say, okay, what payment terms are we going to be charging you, Mr. Client, based on the value that we're going to be selling you here on an order, for example. We can then click into here and I've just set this one up for payment terms. You know, this is a three month payment term and I want to bill you immediately as of today. So this date will drive a couple of those values that I'll show you a second in there. This due date here is specific in a minute. I'll come on to that. Um, and as soon as we specify that and we save the record, what we then see is create split invoices option in the ribbon. We can now click on this. And what this is going to do is I've set this up to be three months, like you say, there's a value there. As soon as we click on that, it will say split invoices created successfully. Perfect. If I just refresh this, what you'll now see over here, we've got three invoices that have been generated against this individual record. Um, they then obviously sit over here as an in individual invoice themselves. That's split out into these areas here like so. And we'll just click back on there. And why is that's been split out? Why are we taking a payment immediately now on the 16th? You can see that aligns with this. And then the other one is in three months time and the other one is in six months time. Uh, sorry, uh, 30 days and then 60 days. Um, the reason that's coming through is because we specified the payment terms here. If we look at what a payment term looks like, we've just given it a name. I've just called this a three month payment term and it's based on an amount value. You can do it on amount or you can do it on quantity. It's entirely up to you. You can specify this. You can then have as many line items as you need to in here. For this purpose, I've just said, oh, well, I want an um, upfront payment of 20% of the value. I then want to take 30% in 60 days time. And then I'm going to take the remaining 50% balance in 90 days time. So in three months, we're going to take all of the balance. This will be cleared off after three months, for example. This could be 12 months. You might split this out into different payments and 12 line items in here. You can set this up and this becomes a template going forward. Now, if I just create a new line, I'll just show you what this looks like. So when you create a new line here, you specify a percentage. So this is 10% and then you say, when's it due? Okay, if I say upfront payment now, that becomes an immediate payment of that value of what you're trying to sell immediately. If I say X days before, it's looking at that date field that we just looked at and then you specify, okay, so if I say five days, that will obviously create an invoice five days before that due date for 10% of the value. X days after, again, self-explanatory, this will create an invoice due date five days after that date field for 10% of that value. And then the last one is the manual one. This won't set a due date. This allows you to say, okay, we're going to take the payment of 10%, calculate what this will be, but we're not going to set the due date of the invoice. This will be now down to yourselves to fill this, you know, key milestones and completions of things might happen on a project. You then fill this in yourself. Might be other things that get completed and then we say, okay, now fill in the due date. But it allows you to then manually populate the due date yourself if you need to. Um, so that's how we do split payments from say an order. And like I said, you can have this on any entity that you like. But one thing that's really useful is if I just flick over here, we've got an account here. We can set up default payment terms. So if this organization, First Up Consultants, want to purchase something from us because they're a gold account, they might get preferential payment terms. You can have as many different payment terms as you want to against a specific organization. And then if you create a new order or any other entity that you've got this solution specified on, it will automatically set the payment terms based on this default payment term pulling from this account organization. Um, thanks for listening. If you're interested in this solution, please sign up to our managed service or please get in touch um, with more details. Many thanks. Bye bye.